All right, we're going to do a how-to, hopefully, <laughs> on uh, converting a vertical shaft opposed to twin Kohler to horizontal shaft. Now, I've seen it done to the Briggs, uh, but I've never actually, I've never seen a video where somebody did it to a Kohler, although I've been told that the Kohlers are even easier to convert. Uh, so we got some of the pieces here already, and I got a few on order. We got the oil fill, the intake manifold, uh, starter. Somebody robbed the starter off this. It, it was a junkyard engine, but it's free. It has good compression on either cylinder, and I got, like I said, most of the pieces here to do it. Uh, got the front cover. This starter that I had laying around has got a bad Bendix, so I got to wait for the Bendix to show up. And I'm waiting for the uh, correct dipstick, which uh, we'll have to drill out that boss down in there. But anyway, as soon as the parts get here, I'll get started on this. So stay tuned. All right, here we are again working on the vertical to horizontal shaft swap on this Kohler. And uh, got our dipstick there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... My brother come out and blow some air in there with a rag kind of sealing it off. Not too crazy enough like we can blow a oil seal out, but while I drill, so that way when I do break through, the chips will fly out instead of going in the engine. And uh, that should do the trick. All right, stay tuned. Okay, I was trying to record it, but I just ended up getting in the way of the camera all the time but you can't really see in there but I can look in there and see that there's no chips laying in there they all well there's one tiny little one but I'll get that out and then I'll shove the dipstick in and we'll start changing the front cover and whatnot awesome all right just kind of explain to you what I'm doing here I uh, didn't quite get the bend or the angle of the hole right uh, I angled it in this way too far so I had to bend it a little bit to get it to sit there and you want the tube to sit just a little bit higher than this flat edge here so that's where I'm gonna mount mine and I realized I didn't get the piece to hold it fast which I'll show you out here on my simplicity that has the same engine but this was originally orientated horizontally uh, you can See it in there is well hold on maybe it's not zooming okay there you can see it so basically since I didn't have that piece I'm just making one which is way overkill but uh, sorry for the shitty camera work so basically I'm just making that piece here uh, out of stuff I had laying around so what I did was oh oh boys what was I thinking wham yeah oh we'll leave that in the video just for the sake of comedy but what I did was I I chucked this up just stuck the tiniest little bit in the vise and then I put where'd the bolt go oh I vice gripped this bolt with needle nose pliers to this to the one side and then just bend it around and to get this edge here I basically just took the chisel and just started beating it down in against the bolt and I'm gonna whoops now because I actually have too much on this side come on focus I'm gonna trim some off of this side I'm gonna cut it about right here drill a hole and uh, out the dipstick fast and uh, I thought about drilling oh it'd be on the other side I thought about drilling that out and tapping it for a drain but uh, the front cover has a drain hole on it but uh, if you need to do that just do what I did for the for drilling the hole for the dipstick just have somebody blow some air in there don't get too carried away, but pinch this, your breather off a little bit so you're not just losing all your air out there and it'll blow all the chips out. 
All right, stay tuned. One more update for today, and then we're gonna call it quits. So you can see here, there's the pickup screen, and it sucks through here and to here, and this goes to, whoops, sorry, this goes to this guy here, which that's where it picks up oil pressure. So I'm assuming you just pop this collar out. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just leave that in there. We'll have to leave that in there, see if it'll clear. Uh, but I'm going to have to, uh, whoops, I'm going to have to clean this crankshaft up pretty good and uh, scrape all the gasket material, or the silicone off. Oh, speaking of silicone, there's the, the dipstick hold down, but the silicone, speaking of, is I put a little silicone around the dipstick tube there to get her good, but you can see how mine does this wonky ass angle. But hey, it's gonna read oil just like, whoops, just like I need. I'm so used to my GoPro. My GoPro, you can see everything. I'm using my phone, but uh, all right guys, I'm gonna get this front cover on. We'll switch the intake around. Put the filler neck on, and uh, I think here in the next day or so we can fire this up. Hell, if I kept working on it tonight, we could probably get it fired up. Oh no, starter. Uh, the starter's off getting fixed, so that's the hold up. All right, so until we get her back together, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, front cover is on, carburetor's on. Uh, I have some oil in it. Uh, you may not be able to see, but there's some oil in there. And the starter's not back yet, but I'm going to turn it over with this drill, get her primed. All right. Let's see what happens here. Crank that down. To, see, I have the spark plugs out. Ouch. Well, look at that. Pumping oil out. So we know it's going to pick up oil. Here, we'll... Oops. All right, so let's put, we're going to put the used filter back on it for now, the one that was on it. And then once I run it a little bit, then I'll change the oil oh, and put a brand new filter on it. Oh boy. All right, no fuel hooked up to it yet. Oh, yeah, pull that out. But uh, let's just crank her over here, and I did just a second ago. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's good news. Stay tuned. Okie dokie. We're just going to fire it on Ethan right now. I don't have much time left today. And then tomorrow we'll take her outside and uh, fire her up on gas. So. Take her outside, hook her up to some gas, and we'll run her for a while. But there's proof of concept. Stupidly easy to convert a vertical shaft to a horizontal shaft. All right. Well, I've had this thing running for a little bit, just because I want to run it for a while and just see how it would work before I started recording it. And uh, it smoked at first because uh, it had some oil in the cylinders and the mufflers had some crap in them. But smoke cleared up. It has good oil pressure. Uh... Heck, it even charges. There's one issue that I ran into that freaked me out, made me think the governor was no good. Apparently, now I made this linkage here for the throttle, but I had an, uh, I had, 
I based it off of a Magnum 18 uh, linkage that I had off of an actual running Magnum 18 uh, horizontal shaft. So I know it's the same, but apparently the governor adjustment on a vertical is different from a horizontal or something like that. So what I did was I unhooked the linkage here, held the held the uh, governor arm in the full wide open position and revved it up and then I felt the governor actually pushing it back. So I knew the governor was good, I just have to adjust it. So that might be something you'd have to do if you uh, end up doing this conversion. But anyway, enough chatting. We're gonna fire this thing up here. Bucker starter up there and and we'll hook it up to our hurting wire and that can charge and I'll turn I have the I have the uh, throttle zip tie closed and I'll just turn the idle screw up a little bit here maybe I think the valves use an adjustment they're a little noisy but 55 psi oil pressure no smoke running on both cylinders converted not nearly as much to it as I thought and a junkyard engine revival so if you have any questions, leave them for me down in the comment section below. If I need to make a revised video, if this one's not good enough, I'll do it. Uh, hopefully uh, you learned something from this, and uh, if you want to do a conversion on your own, hopefully uh, I've showed you enough that you can. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. And until next time, take care.